without further ado, please go ahead with your questions for Lou Lamarillo. Thank you. Uh, Lou, it's Adam Proto from MapleLeafs.com. I'm, I'm wondering, some people might look at, at this trade and think you, you paid a high price, but uh, I, I suppose you're, you're comfortable with, with what you're acquiring in terms of an asset? Uh, yes, uh, Adam. Uh, certainly when you get a goaltender of this caliber with the experience he's had and the success, uh, and, you know, I feel I had the good fortune to have similar goaltenders in the past that uh, I think that uh, acquiring them is the most important thing. The price was secondary. Thank you. Lewis, Kevin LeGrand here. Um, what is it you like about him? Certainly he's a, he's a big goalie. What is it you like about the way he plays? Well, first of all, I, I love his competitiveness. Um, uh, and if you look at his playoff history, uh, he's always played well in the playoffs. Um, and he gives us, uh, as you said, size, uh, which today is, is a necessity the way the game is played. Uh, but he's also, uh, as his athleticism is exceptional. Uh, Lou, what is you... for uh, Jonathan Bernier? Uh, you, you need two goaltenders to play. Um, and uh, certainly right now the uh, focus is on, you know, what we transpired, uh, what transpired today in acquiring a goaltender. Uh, but uh, uh, right now we have two capable goaltenders. Lou, Gino, right at TSN. Hi, there's, there's a report that uh, you've already agreed to a five-year contract with Frederick Anderson. Is that accurate? Yes, that is accurate. Uh, Lou, it's uh, Lance Hornby from the Toronto Sun. Uh, a lot of people uh, make the move you did today when they're a little closer to contention. Could you talk about the timing of this versus uh, whatever, a, a defenseman or another forward? Uh, why was the time uh, important now for a player like Frederick? Well, I, I think that, you know, timing, you never know when that will come. Uh, and the opportunity of acquiring him came now. And you, I, I believe that uh, this, and our organization believes this, that this will help the growth of our young players uh, with the tandem of, uh, you know, Freddie and, and Bernie. When you say a, a goalie helps the growth of young players, uh, can you expand on that, what you mean? Well, whenever you have a, a goaltender uh, of this magnitude uh, of this success, it breeds from the defense through the forwards and from the forwards through the defense. Um, and, you know, we feel that it's a necessity with the growth in where we're at. Uh, but please be assured uh, that the thought process of the plan that is in place, uh, we're not pushing it forward. But we have said all along, if we were able to put ourselves in a position to get better and not interrupt what we're doing, we would do it. And I believe that's what we tried to do today. Hey, Lou, it's uh, Matt Brown from Sportsnet. Uh, Jimmy Vesti was traded; his rights were traded to Buffalo today from Nashville. Did you guys ever consider trying to acquire his rights, or would just rather wait and see if he tests the market? I, I. Today it's about Freddie Anderson, and uh, I, I won't get into any comments about somebody else's player. If, with that, then, uh, on Anderson, Garrett Sparks saw a lot of time with you guys late in the season and then didn't get much playing time in the playoffs with the Marlies run. Did you see regression in his game that, that saw that maybe you guys were a little farther away in the goaltending position depth-wise than you may have thought? No, uh, not necessarily. Uh, I think that... Uh, you know, we had an opportunity to see a Jared here, and he's going to be an outstanding goaltender. He's still young. He's still growing. And we had an opportunity to see Bebo uh, in the playoffs. So, no, we, we're very comfortable with what transpired, uh, you know, last year. Lou, it's Lance Hornby again. Can you talk a bit about Anderson, the person? Have you uh, spoken to him since the deal? Yes, I have. I've spoken to him. Um, and I certainly know people who know him extremely well as an individual. Uh, he's, he's quality and character, uh, loves the game, uh, works as hard as anybody in every practice. Uh, and, you know, uh, we're excited. Lou, Gino Reda, TSN again. How important was having the five-year deal in place in making this deal happen? Well, he's, uh, you know, he had – one more year left, and 
He was a restricted free agent, uh, and one of two things could have transpired. You know, he could go to ball, go into arbitration, or he could have played out his qualifying offer. Uh, but when you're at his age in five years, uh, when you're 27 years old, uh, we're very comfortable with the uh, five-year uh, extension. Lou, uh, Adam Proto again. Uh, I'm just curious. Uh, I mean, you've had a great track record of of uh, acquiring goalies, of, of grooming goalies in your history. Um, do you think that that added security that, that you've given Freddie today is just a way to, to give him that kind of mental comfort for the future? Absolutely. I, I think it's extremely important. I think that uh, he has to know that uh, we feel he's our number one goaltender uh, and that the – you know, support is there, the confidence is there, and the commitment is there.